It's snack creek day again, you guys, and we're back in Daniel's house. Just me and Oliver, though. Daniel's stuck in meetings. Um, so we're gonna just do this, guesses. This last month's um thing. So what, what's our guess? I was right that the I was right with Brazil. You were right. I was right with Brazil. I'm thinking. Was that the last one? No, that was the one before the last one. The last one, I forget where it was. Oh, the last one we were in the office. Yeah. I was in a bad mood that time. I apologize. It, it really sucked in the video. Um, I want to keep it South America. I okay. want to say Argentina. You know what popped in my head when you said South America? And it's probably just because I've been really thinking about the rice. Is Peru. Okay. So Peru and Argentina. Argentina. Okay. Oh, this, please. Ukraine. Oh. oh, I'm kind of excited. Didn't we have Ukraine already? No, oh, we had Russia. We had Russia. This is different. Whole this different. comes with radiation. <laughs> whole different, whole different country. Look at all these chippies. Okay. Um. I hate that they put that on there now. I know. Like, can we pull it out? Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. Um. Which one do you want to do? Do it. Do it. You want? Just you want to do fun facts? Just go for it. Okay, Ukraine, home to over 41 million people and covering more than 233,000 square miles, Ukraine is the second largest country in Europe. Thanks to a unique geographical location, Ukraine is overflowing with a long and rich history. Archaeologists have found traces of advanced Neanderthal settlements, including mammoth bone dwellings, hunting tools, jewelry, and even some early human remains that date back to 43 thousand BC. Wow. Um, these early settlers also take claim to be the first civilization to domesticate wild horses. <sighs> the beginning of the end for the horses. We apologize. Um, or I apologize. Sorry. This is my own fight. <laughs> my own moral high ground. <laughs> I stand alone. Um, coming into more modern times, Ukraine has a more tumultuous ride throughout the 20th century. Withstanding events like the Russian Civil War and World War I and II, Ukraine has, was often involved in the action because of its ties to the Soviet Union. Shortly after its an annexation, the country earned the nickname the breadbasket of Europe as its fertile land grew more than the grain that grew most of the grain that continued to feed the Soviet citizens. There's a really good movie about that. Anyways, sorry. I'm sorry, got distracted. Ukraine's stint within the USSR also led to another controversial moment in history, the Chernobyl explosion. A nuclear power plant within the city uh, of Priapit, what is it? Pripyat. Pripyat. And had a technical malfunction causing the nuclear reactor to overheat and explode. This disaster caused noxious radioactive materials to flood the air, creating what is known today as the exclusion zone, a thousand mile radius of no man's land. In 1990, Ukraine gained independence from the USSR and has succeeded as an independent nation ever since. It has now become a fabulous destination for tourists all over, hosting the seven natural wonders of the Ukraine, diverse flora and fauna, and most importantly, delicious cuisine for all to enjoy. Fun facts. Facts that are fun. Ukraine is home to seven sites protected by the UNESCO World Heritage List, including the St. Sophia Cathedral of Chernitsky University. Kiev, Ukraine's capital, has the world's deepest metro station that goes down 105 meters, almost 350 feet. In 1986, Ukraine experienced a devastating event when a nuclear power plant called Chernobyl exploded. Ukraine was inhabited by the Trifilian civilization, one of the world's earliest ancient civilizations dating back to 550 BCE. Ukrainians wear their wedding bands on their right finger, on the ring finger of their right hand instead of their left. I'm not married. Scan for jams. What? <gasps> Oh my god, we just peaked all the right now. <laughs> well, because I've been listening, I have a whole ass playlist of Russian music, and it's lit. It's like post-punk, 
uh, new, uh, like synth wave, like stuff like that, and it's it's super lit. Oh, we can't even get copyrighted. Is it copyrighted? I mean, that's lit. We'll just have it. What are the? I mean, I'm gonna get sued if it's copyrighted, and then have to. No, they'll just they'll just mute, take my... mute that part of the video. Oh, well then play it. Okay. When they take the video down. I mean, they'll just take my video down. I'm sure. Oh, all my thousands of followers will be really upset if my video gets <laughs> Hey, this is lit. Is that it? This is lit. I like that. Okay, let me get distracted. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> that was lit. All right. All right. So we got chippies and chippies. It doesn't look like there's much chocolate. <gasps> I love the Ukraine already. All right, so let's do these. Potato boom. <gasps> these crispy potato sticks are baked to perfection and coated with a generous amount of salt and vinegar that, that, that to make that tangy flavor that keeps you coming back for more. These potato boom original sticks with ketchup, ketchup flavor. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> fries on a plate next to it and then they were like gently fanning on it so that a few speckles of the flavoring would get on the like have you ever because like okay so like we you know didn't always have a lot of money when we were kids and sometimes you get like the cheap ketchup and the cheap ketchup has like a really tomatoey kind of taste to it like you, I mean, it's I know just it's like cocktail sauce made without the horseradish mm -hmm. it straight tastes like tomato paste my what my my after that that next one it is straight tomato paste so what they did it feels like is they took tomato paste and made it into a powder and sprinkled it in with the gently paste. sprinkled yeah gently sprinkled yeah the flavoring is not there i give that for just based on the lack of uh explosion of flavor that you were expecting i'd give it like a four i give it a four because two as well Mostly too because I was very excited about ketchup flavor. This is why you don't get excited about things because then you get let down. Oh my god, that was probably the saddest thing I think anyone's ever done. <laughs> why do you think I'm ever in a bad mood? Wait, what? Nothing, nothing excites me. This guy is never in a bad mood. It's not that I'm in a bad mood, it's that I'm not in a mood to be impressed. You're, you get highly cranky, just saying. I get sassy, not cranky. Kravitz? Kravitz. Um, so Kravitz? Uh, I don't even know. It? Something. Oh, they're black. They're black. Cresco. Full? Cresco. Not Kravitz. Cresco. I said you are Kravitz. Oh. Cresco sticks loaded with essential vitamins and minerals. Get your day started right with the crispy cereal tube loaded with sweet milk cream. They are black. It broke. Is it chocolate? It's flavor? a fucking Oreo stick. <gasps> no. That's delicious. Oh Laura. my god. That creamy filter, that creamy center, like when you bite into it and you get all that creamy center, that's amazing. Mmm. Right. I mean. You know what? I give this. I. Mmm. Y'all know, know me with my chocolate. But, I know, but this isn't like an overpowering chocolate. I think it's because it's like at that like crunch, like bready crunch to it. Almost like a wafer. Yeah. And then you got that creamy, oh my gosh, that's Because you good. don't really taste chocolate. And look, look how fucking like amazing the, the, the packaging is. The aesthetics of that packaging. This packaging is hot. I give it a nine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I get, no, I'm going to give it an eight because I will never forget that Brazilian chocolate that we ate that time. That by far is probably the best chocolate I think I've ever put in my mouth. Also, Estrella Jalisco, sponsor us, bro. We're done with the Budweiser. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Daniel for changing our beers. 
Yeah, I've been drinking this at home with my um, Michelada mix, and it is really good. I actually think I like it better than the Modelo. Apparently, this is the, the beer that gangsters drink in Mexico. Because we're gangster. Yeah. yeah. It's our gang tattoo. Oh, yeah. And my devil tattoo. Yeah. And my other, my kind of gang looking tattoo. The gang tattoo. No, this is the gang looking tattoo. Oh, no. This one. All right, next. And then I have a W on each butt cheek, so when I bend over, it says, wow. Do you really? With the camera like this. Comment down below. <laughs> we get, what, how many likes? <laughs> 69 Oliver, likes. I'll Oliver will show, show butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's do these. What is it? Oh, Big okay. Bob's Nuts. Oh, I like Big Nuts. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Bite into the perfect adventure snack and explore adventure gross. The sharp and explosive flavors of these crispy coated and wasabi flavored peanuts. I'm hard pass for me and I'm cool. Wasabi, I, I don't like wasabi. Wasabi flavored stuff is even worse. I'm not even gonna try it. It straight tastes like wasabi. I'm not even gonna try that. I'm it's sure. not bad. I cannot do wasabi. I hate, I hate, I like it. It's actually really good. I mean, I wouldn't want to. Oh, that that one was. Ooh. I'll give you a little. I'm gonna give you a little. We gotta be COVID safe. As he blows in my face. We are in the same area, dude. We are not COVID. We are both vaccinated. Shout out to being vaccinated. As of tomorrow, I'm officially vaccinated. You, well, you're not gonna like it if you don't like wasabi flavor. Like Straight that. up that's, tastes like wasabi. That's a one. Listen, that's a one because he doesn't like wasabi flavor. No, now, it's, because, <clears throat> it's because anything that's wasabi flavored tastes like ass. Okay. And listen, I'm, an, I'm a res the resident expert of eating ass here. So when I say something that tastes like ass, you gotta trust me. Okay. Today's episode is PG thirteen. I mean, we're borderlining. We haven't cursed yet. I didn't. I said fuck. Fuck. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Demonetize. What is actually happening? Demonetize. Next. <laughs> My demon. <laughs> All those millions that we we're gonna make off this video, there goes down the toilet. Okay, next. Let me do. Let's do. There is a lot of chocolate in here. Dark chocolate. Is it Roshan? Mm-hmm. Roshan Dark Choco. Named after the owner and former president of Ukraine, this elegant dark chocolate bar is filled with a rich and creamy fondant. I have feelings. Their president's it. name was Dark Choco? That's sick. I have feelings about the president having dark chocolate in my spectrum. Well, you didn't catch my joke. Yeah. Just the name is Dark Choco. Uh, you know how I feel about chocolate. It was probably the last one you did. Okay. Wait. That need, is. Wait, wait, wait. We need to go back. First of uh, all, I didn't grade this. I'm gonna grade it a seven because it was. If you like wasabi flavors, this is really good. Now let's go back to the chocolate. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. No, because it's dark chocolate. What's that purple? The the chocolate that comes in the purple packaging with caramel inside. The Cadbury. Isn't it Cadbury? And the, it's like like the the sections of the chocolate are like almost bubbly. I'm pretty sure it's Cadbury. Cadbury is purple packaging. To the YouTube or to the Google. To the Google. Um, while he Googles, this has got a nice dark chocolate flavor, and then it's got like this like creamy center. Yes, that reminds me of Cadbury. Yeah, you're correct. <gasps> Wait, what was I? You get a point for that? I do get a point for that. I get a point for make, having Oliver tell me I was correct. Because that doesn't happen very often. Um, <laughs> um, it's got a really nice consistency to it. It's a dark chocolate, which isn't super sweet. It's got, you know. But it wasn't like, it's it wasn't like a Hershey's dark chocolate where it kicks you in the face. Right. It's got a really That's nice. That's not super sweet. I actually don't mind Mind this at all. Mm -mm, not at all. I would no. I'm not mad about it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to like eat it. Wouldn't eat the whole thing in one 
I probably would. But I like, mean. I wouldn't, listen, I wouldn't be mad if that was in my stocking. Is what I think. Yeah, if somebody handed me that and they were like, you want it? I'd be like, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll eat that. All right, next. Um, yeah, the other Roshan thing. It's Roshan a Lazy place. Cow? Yeah, there's a little cow. A delightfully crispy, crisp, exactly. crispy vanilla wafer sandwich with sweetened condensed milk cream coated in rich milk chocolate. That's how you spell Lazy Cow in Ukraine? What are they speaking? Is it Ukraine? I think, I think they speak their own language, yeah. But, I mean... The, I'm sure the, the alphabet's super similar, it's, I bet. It's a scrolling. We'll say some for Daniel. Even if he's not, he couldn't be with us today because he has a job. You're going to see him on the next video. Ooh. I love that. I love the airiness to it. It's a good cookie. It tastes like a gas station chocolate wafer to me. I'm down with the gas station chocolate wafer, just saying. I'm down for that. I'm going to give that a six. I like that. I like it. Actually, I'm going to up it to a 7 because I do like it. I get a 5. Alright. On a road trip, I would buy it. I would not buy it if I like was going in for some taquitos at 7-Eleven. Would not buy that. 100% I would always go for taquitos. Over the Okay. Bonjour. Conti. I know a girl named Conti before. This is squishy. I'm scared. Conti Bonjour. This dome-shaped dessert consists of three delicious parts of sugar biscuit, a layer of cappuccino jelly, topped with whipped cream, all coated with a chocolate glaze. Are dome-shaped? Oh, she uh, she big squished. She big yeah, that's a that's a squishy baby. She big squished. Ooh. I need to. So you don't even know me. I know, I can't speak it again. I don't know if you're not. I don't be fucked up. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're not. I'm eating sand. Well, the little, okay, listen. The little piece that I had was good. When I stuck the big piece in my mouth, it was not. She said. I mean, preferably my mouth, I would prefer it to be smaller than bigger. Just saying. Okay. Yeah, probably the same. I'm telling you, from my gag to gag. Okay. Um, this one. Uh, Arctic waffles. Perfect with a cup of tea or coffee. Beer, ah! beer will do. Uh, these wafer style wafers, waffle style wafers, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's only my second beer. <laughs> are baked to perfection and layered with a decadent chocolate cream. Jesus fuck. Here, give me a little piece. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh-uh. I don't like that after the first bite. I don't there's something about that wafer. Mm -mm. No, nope, I think that's three. Mm. As you chew it, it's like I don't know if you've ever done this. But like you, you put a spoon in like the bowl of sugar and put the sugar in the thing, and then like you lick the spoon to eat the sugar, the, the whatever sugar stuck to the spoon. Okay. And then you start biting. Granular. That's what it feels like. It, it's got like a consistency of like sugar. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I give that, that a, a two. Oh, it's way too sweet. It's way too sweet. But I, I feel like we don't because the two of us don't really care for really sweet things that we don't really do the sweet things justice. Because no, somebody no, who no, likes no, sweet no, things no. might think that that's I disagree. Amazing. I disagree because we, I, I don't know, I, I just, I disagree because there's some things that's, it's just <laughs> not disagree. good. No, you're just wrong, Heather. <laughs> well, I'm saying, I'm saying we are, we're not just, we're not, it's not, it's not like we're anti-sweet. Like, that's not the thing. I, I, I don't mind sweets. Like, I, I you know, sweets are. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, sweet. we've had sweets that we've enjoyed and we've liked. But what but... I'm saying is some of this shit is just sweet for the sake of being sweet because it's just fucking just, just whatever. I'm really saving this to last. 
Okay, this one. These are cookies. Oh, I've been flavored. Super context cookies. Cookies! Reminiscent of a popular American treat with a unique citrus twist, these black sugar cookies are held together by a soft lemon flavored feeling. It's lemon Oreos, ladies. <laughs> and, uh, AKA lemon Oreos. What I like to do with my Oreos is I'll get a, a cup of milk, obviously, like every other normal true American. Um, I can't drink milk. Well, milk substitute oat milk. Oat, oat milk is the elite milk. Uh, and I'll just get like 10 cookies and I'll just like put them in a glass of milk and I'll just let them sit. Oh, till they get soggy? And then I'll like get a spoon and I'll like eat the... Eat the mush. Eat the mush. See, I don't hate chocolate and I don't... I mean, I hate chocolate, but I don't hate, you know, sweet, overly sweet treats. I miss cookies and milk so bad. Why is a hard-ass cookie? I broke mine in half. I don't want that. I don't want that. It's like a This tastes like the dollar store... It's like fucking cardboard. Yep. I don't even want to Where's the it. lemon? I don't taste the lemon. It's just like honey song in the cardboard. I don't taste the lemon. Oh, well, I ate all the lemon in one thing. I don't taste the lemon. Well, this is disgusting. I don't want to finish this. I don't want it either, but I don't want to be a quitter. Oh, listen, I got no problem spitting this quit. I'm cool with that. Oh, you can spit. Wash that down with a beautiful, tasty, fresh, crispy. Oh, and I'm not wasting my Estrella beer. Estrella Jalisco, time. the beer of the drug dealers. Sponsors, bro. Yeah, no, they're more than sponsors. They know who they sell their shit to. All right, what's next? Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> I wanted to do the South Park one, but I don't want to be. <laughs> Stop myself. <laughs> to me in the lords of the underworld. <laughs> I don't I don't see that one. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Flip it around. Can't well, it looks like we got a... We got a... No. wafer, that's all it says. It's just a freaking other wafer. Cause they apparently really like their wafers in the Ukraine. I knew a girl from the Ukraine one time. Did she, she have one late? Half of a half. Did she have one late? Why would you say that? She was cool. Julia. Yeah. Juliana. Juliana. She was cool. It's like banana flavored. Nope, 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 I'm getting big banana cream pie vibes, and you know how much I love a cream pie. Yes, that I do not. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh uh, no no no. Uh 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 uh. I like um banana cream pie too, um, but I don't like that. I like that a lot. You know what that tasted like? Like trash. The fucking the banana. Lappy Taffies. Yeah. I love the banana With chocolate. Lappy so if you mushed up a banana Lappy Taffy and a chocolate Lappy Taffy together and chewed it that for like- That sounds amazing. And chewed it for like that 20 years. That sounds amazing. This is what you get. Or left it outside and let it harden. Here, you can have the rest of it. Next. Next. Okay, so I got all these other candies. These are fizz <gasps> fizzy booms. These sweet hard candies come with the fizzy center to make sure that uh, the so, wow, hold on, English. Uh, with the fizzy center that is sure to tingle your taste buds. Enjoy cola, fresh lime, and orange flavor varieties. Well, I sure do like being tingled. Cola? You choose cola? Because I eat ass. Cola. Do you really? Yes. I'm a millennial. Is that what millennials do? Well, I'm a millennial too, and I've never ate ass. Well, then you're a Gen Xer. No, I'm not. I don't hate that. I kind of want to bite now. I want you to, but I'm scared for my teeth. Oh, wow. That is, holy shit. The lime one doesn't taste that good. The, the fizzy center? 
I'm trying to buy it. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really, that's really, that's really good. Oh. Oh. It simmers down after. That's doing a lot to my mouth. I give that a 10. That was a fantastic experience. If I had the patience to get through the entire thing, that's like the second 10 I've ever given. I think I would like to try sucking on that. That's what she said. She did. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like trying to That was really good. And then sucking on that and getting to the busy center. <laughs> you see what happens? <laughs> you know, for that busy act, <laughs> that busy ending. <laughs> know what you're getting and what it was gonna taste like next wow this got really weird okay i think this is what is this gum oh this is squishy oh let's do this crazy b the buzz of the buzz around this tree is true these soft and chewy gummy candies are filled with just the right amount of sweet they're squishy fruit jelly i mean just for the squishiness of them that's fun they're probably gonna taste like trash but No. It doesn't taste like trash. It's not terrible. I give it a five. I give it a four just because it, it's not terrible. If somebody had me it, I would eat it gladly. I give it a five, maybe even a six. You know why? Because I can't think of one thing in the America that I... I've had something similar to that. That's similar to that. Yeah, I've had something similar to that. Okay. Um... But, like, it's not bad. I like it, but it's not, like, great. Like, if I never have another one of those again in my life, I won't lose the sleep. Okay. We're down to the last two? Yes. Which one? I don't know, because I really want both of them. Let's do this one first. Uh, let me see. Flint. Flint croutons. These baked wheat rye croutons are kneaded according to a special recipe and are combined with a special crab flavoring. That's Try them on your favorite salad or eat them as a snack. Crab flavoring's totally gone over well for us. I don't know what you're talking about. We've had crab flavoring stuff before when we had that Route 66 one. I don't remember that. When Steve was here, remember? Tastes like a crouton. It really does. You have to really get one that's saturated with the. Oh, well, that's not bad. Mmm. I'm down for these. I want to put these in a salad. Actually, Aaron, can we talk about the shape of these croutons? Look at the shape of them. I don't know how far away the camera is. So that's Radiation. not regular shaped croutons. That's kind of cool. I like this. I'll give it a seven. Like, there it's a crouton, seven. which honestly, I can eat croutons by themselves. I oh, yeah, croutons. I do it all the time. But that, that, and they're not like over seasoned either. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? And I really think that they'd be bomb in a salad. Are you walking work now? I gotta send my email though. No. Oh. Take a wait. Okay, next this is the last one and then you can end and send your email. Corn sticks. Look I want you to feel this. What it, what do you expect it to feel like? Like seaweed. No. Like a seaweed packet. That's how a seaweed packet. Like light is a feather, stiff as a board? Salute corn sticks. This all-natural puffed corn snack is loaded with is loaded with savory sour cream and dill flavoring. Aww. Pair with a frosty cold beverage to complete this tasty treat. They look really fun. Pow! I know, right? No. I like this. I 
I like this. It's not overpowering in flavor. It's got a nice crunch to it. It softens up like a puff should soften up. It's, I'm down for this. I mean, it probably wouldn't be my go-to. Like I wouldn't be like, ooh, let me get some of these. But if these were in my kitchen and that's what I had to eat, I'd eat the shit out of them. I like it. I give this an eight. I don't hate it. I give it a four and a half. I don't hate it. It's good. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's good. I think it's good. Obviously. Okay. All right. So. All in all, I'm really happy with the Ukraine. I think it was great. A great selection of savory and sweet. And the snacks were actually really good. There's only a couple of them that were like, no, thank you. Lemon Oreo. The lemon. Please don't ever do that. I think there's only been one other time where we didn't finish, where we didn't finish our, our portion. Really? Somebody in the comments will let us know. I'm all over chocolate. I. The chocolate was better than most chocolates that we get. The dark chocolate? Well, the, all the chocolate in general. Oh, yeah. These things, too. These were really yeah, good. Was better than most of the chocolate that we get in every other, with the exception of Brazil. I'm actually, yes. Oh, God. But. Um, Them and kept That chocolate and ketchup chips now are like ingrained in my brain. <laughs> but I also feel like they could have included more savory snacks, which has been our biggest critique of every single box. Exactly. Was more savory snacks. Right. Right. But it was good. Like, I mean, let's think of it. We, there's a lot of savory snacks. Because I, I go to the gas station every morning now with Villa. I take her on a walk and that's when the car is her old ass can go. Is at the gas station. And so I take her to the gas station and there's a lot of savory stuff there. There's like corn nuts and um, bugle chips. Bugle chips and a heck of different types of like, I mean, come on how many different types of chips. And then there's um, sunflower seeds and nuts and like all these different flavored nuts. And there's just like a lot of stuff that you can get. Basically this stuff, like the snack crates are really like gas station food from different countries. Yeah. And but most of the time they're in the in the chocolate section. Right. So like, let's go to the next all over, but we the next yeah, all like over. The spicy. Spicy. The, we love spicy. I'm mm. just saying, like a spicy chip or something. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. Some. It sucks that we can't get like different types of jerky and stuff because of import laws. Oh, because of we the. Can't import meat. Meat. Oh. Okay, cool. That was fun. That was fun. Thank you for watching this video with us. Stay tuned, um, stay tuned for our next video, which will be... I mean, I'm going to have a couple videos that are going to get posted on, but they're all going to be hot sauce videos. This, um, the most, the first one coming up is going to be hot sauces with Oliver, Danny, and Julissa. And then I'm going to do a hot sauces with my brothers and my sister. Um, and so, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. Bye! Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.